Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new mini PC that I have received from Azul Group. It's called Azul Access Plus. It is a, a little bit oversized USB dongle. In today's video, we will be unboxing and also going through and show you what this Access Plus Windows 10 USB dongle can do for us. All right, so without wasting your time, let's just get into it and unbox it first. You can see that the box is nicely designed, going all the way around as all the markings that you require, and you can see it once you try to open from the top. So once you unbox it, the components that are inside of this is the HDMI extender. It comes with the Access Plus itself. Also comes with a power adapter, which is 5 volt, and it is a power adapter for Canada and United States. Also comes with a little Azul brochure that talks about the warranty and also how we can get more information for this unit itself and also comes with a little brochure for the access plus how you can connect it and how you can go through setting up this at the back of your tv all right enough said about that so you can see that the access plus is very nicely designed the way that it looks from the top you do see a sticker that will give you some warning and also once you go through it you go in the front it has a nice hdmi 2.0 connection going on the right side you do have a power button and then you have the serial number right beside that you do have connection for the electricity right beside that you have one usb 3.0 port and then you have one usb 2.0 port going to the back you have a headset jack then you have the LAN connection. Right beside that, you have the Kingsington lock. On the other side of it, from the back, you have the antenna. And then you have the micro SD slot, which can read up to 128 gigabyte. Right beside that, you have another sticker. Beside that, you have the Azul little sticker that talks about the model number. It also have the input, which is 5 volt, 3 amps. And also have the FCC ID. If you look, it does have the Intel logo there too. And also will tell you if it is recyclable or not. The top part of it is very unique design. And this way it keeps most of the heat inside and it doesn't allow it to go out. You do have a little hole on the top this way. When you turn it on, you see the light. All right, enough said about it. Let's get this connected. So it does come with an extension cord. In this case, that's how we're going to connect it. I do not want to forget if you do have a wireless mouse and keyboard, go ahead and connect it on USB 2.0 and then make sure that the power is connected. You will get a red light on the top. All right, so as soon as you press the power, you're going to see a blue light on the unit itself. And then on the screen, you will get the Azul little logo that says technology inspired by real people. And yes, you will see the little roller in the bottom, and that's what we are waiting for. And yes, you do have to set up the first screen, so we have already done that, and we have bypassed some of the parts. This way, we can directly just go into the screen. All right, so as soon as it comes up, this is what you're going to get. And yes, this is Windows 10. You can see the way that is laid out is very nicely done. When you go on the Start button, you will get all the information that you require as soon as you go in. So your all apps there. So you can go in and you can select or you can go to power so you can turn off restart and sleep you go under settings this is where you're going to get a lot of information about your box so if we go under system and we go under about this is where you're going to get the genuine windows 10 it also have the name of the pc it also have the information about the build number the os number product id i have to blur it out and the information about the intel pentium this is the atom version x5 it is z8300 the cpu is running on 1.4 4 gigahertz it also at the bottom it does indicate that this is running 2 gigabyte of ram and the system is running on 64 bit which is perfectly on this thing and we will be capturing that also under cpu z in a few seconds this is where you're going to see a lot of information and when you go back into it these are the apps that are already installed and where you're going to get a lot of the tiles you can make this bigger bigger so you can add more or you can make it as small as possible so this way everything is up and down the way that you see i just like to have it in one page this way i don't have to scroll up and down to it also have the file explorer here too and when you go under my pc this is where you're going to get your internal storage which is 32 gigabytes and again most of them are taken by the os itself and also the apps that are installed on top of it so 16.4 gigabyte is available right now since we installed a bunch of apps so we can test it and we wanted to see how far it will go through all right so first we will launch the cpu z 
Now CPUs that will give you a lot of information about the box. First, as soon as it comes up, all right, so let's put it in the middle. As soon as it comes up under CPU, you can see that the name is Intel Atom X5Z8300. And also we have the logo here for the X5. Also the bottom of it, it says code name is Cherry Trail. That's the name of the CPU itself. The socket is 1380 BGA. The more specification about this is Intel Atom Z8300 CPU. It is running on 1.44 gigahertz. And going down at the bottom, the clock is there too. That it is running between 1600 megahertz or 478, which is about 479. There you go, 480 that is. Now if we go on the other side of it, it does talk about cache. But when we look at the bottom of it, it is running on quad core processor in four threads. If we go under cache is there too. The main motherboard, it named as Azul and the model number still runs on Cherry Trail CR and then we go on the bottom the BIOS is America Megatrend and it is version 5.11 on this if we go under memory it is DDR3 running 2 gigabyte and the frequency is 1600 megahertz and you go on down that how much the clock the RAS also the pre-charge and the cycle time is all here too if we go on the graphics itself you can see that the GPU is Intel H HD graphics and this is the revision 22nd and that's about it on this now if you do want to do some customization on this unit itself you can go under personalize and here is how you can change the background how you can change the color to solid and the slideshow also the colors you can change to different ones and the theme if you want to change you want to start more and also more on this if you do want to play around with your graphics card, there is a controller that comes with it. So if you want to change your display, it's here. If you want to play with 3D, if you do have a 3D monitor, this is going to help you out. If you want to set up different profiles, it's all here too. Also the video format and how we can play with this. If you do want to use this as a power save so that way it turns off by itself and also options for support. So if you need support from them, they can help you out here too. And also some shortcuts are part of this. Another thing I have to let you guys know is we're going to test this speed on this. So first we're going to just speed test it through the Bing website itself. So click on start and let's see how fast it will go through. So yes, it does show that this can go up to a gigabit. And now this is our upload speed. So our upload speed is around 20 megabits per second, which is there. Oh, that's perfect. And if you go under speedtest.net website, this is done by Okla. So you just wait for it to load. And yes, you can tell that the Wi-Fi on this is AC, so it's going as fast as possible. And yes, it gives some freezing is because of the flash player on the browser itself. And now it goes on the upload rate. The upload rate do make sense that why it shows around 20 megabits is because that's the speed that we have. We have been capped. It is accurate on showing this. So there you go. It is showing the maximum speed. And remember that this unit do take in the LAN connection. We didn't connect it yet, so we will be testing it right now. So you saw that the link right here, it changed to a LAN connection and not Wi-Fi anymore. So let's test it one more time. All right, this is the second time that we are running this, but for some reason, the Ethernet is not going over 100 megabits per second. But the Wi-Fi on this is going crazy fast, which is perfect. All right, so this is our speed for the meantime through our Ethernet connection. So yes, we did get a little bit better speed on the upload, but really bad on our download. Maybe there's something wrong with our Ethernet connection at the meantime. We cannot tell right now. And yes, this is a media player, so you can use it as your Kodi. Or if you want to play with Plex, this would work perfectly for you. At the meantime, I just want to let you know that this do connect via Bluetooth. So if you have a Bluetooth headset, it works beautiful. And if you want to go through and you want to set up your Skype and you want to use it for day to day computing, this would work perfectly. And again, it is very inexpensive. I will be placing the links where you can order this from at the bottom of this video. Except that this was our take on Azul Access Plus dongle that we have received from Azul Group. And you can see it right now that the difference between an older Azul Windows dongle and the Azul Access Plus. So I hope that you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button. Subscribe button on the top. Comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitext.info. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, Vine, Instagram, and other social networking platforms. 
places. And thank you.